Yeah. Analysts. Good to go. Okay. It is 7 p.m. October 22, 2024. I'd like to call to order this meeting of the Board of Directors of the San Lorenzo Valley Water District. Would the Secretary please call the roll? President Hill? Here. Vice President Smalley? Here. Director Fultz? Here. Director Largate? Here. And Director Lang? Here. Thank you. Okay, changes to the agenda. Additions to the agenda, if any, may only be made in accordance with California Government Code Section 54954.2, Ralph M. Brown Act, which includes but is not limited to additions for which the need to take action is declared to have arisen after the agenda was posted, as determined by a two thirds member vote of the board of directors, or if less than two thirds of the members are present, a unanimous vote of those present. Do we have any changes to the agenda? No. Seeing none, we'll move on to oral communications. This portion of the agenda is reserved for oral communications by the public on any subject that lies within the jurisdiction of the district that is not on the agenda. Seeing, do we have any members of the public? One. Any person may address the board of directors at this time. Normally presentations must not exceed three minutes in length and individuals may only speak once. Please understand that the Brown Act limits what the board can do regarding issues not on the agenda. No action or discussion may occur on issues outside of those already listed on today's agenda. Any director may request that a matter be raised during oral communication be placed on a future agenda. Do we have any oral communications from the public? Seeing none, we'll move on. Unfinished business. We have no unfinished business to discuss at this meeting. Item number five, new business, Caltrans Highway 9 paving uh, from marker 7.5 to marker 10.2 project. Would the district engineer please present this? Yes, thank you. So Caltrans will be repaving Highway 9. And as part of that project, the district was contacted uh, over a year ago in November of 2023 and requested that our existing valve boxes for our uh, utility lids be lowered, removed out of the way so that to facilitate the grinding of Highway 9. And um, I had discussions with the previous general manager at the time and the director of operations about this upcoming paving project. And it was decided that our operations staff could not perform this utility lid adjustments and that the best way to have the utility lids adjusted would be to have the Caltrans contractor adjust our utility lids as part of the paving project because they were already going to be there for paving. They would be mobilized to the site. They're familiar with the limits of the paving. Portions of our main line um, are installed within the right of way, but near the fog line, the white line on the side of the road. And sometimes uh, there's a couple bridge crossings where our pipe is uh, uh, connected to the bridge. And once it makes it to the other side of the bridge, it's you know out of the roadway on the side of the road. So not all of our utility lids necessarily would need to be removed and replaced for the grinding operations, just the utility lids that are in the way. The encroachment permit that we received in November of 2023 identified um, several conflicts with existing utility lids. The contractor, Granite Construction, um, has identified additional lids that need to be um, removed or lowered and then reestablished after paving is complete. So we requested a proposal from Granite Construction to perform this work for the district. We received that proposal on September 12th of 2024. We reached out to get additional bids for the work for competitive pricing to make sure that we're not getting a bad deal. We did receive a price from another contractor in the amount of $212,000. So in the in the range of the granite uh, proposal, but, but more. 
So it made sense to go with the granite uh, proposal to perform this work. Now, this is a, a ongoing project where they intend to pave uh, relatively soon and we need to get our utility lids out of the way to avoid any potential um, repercussions for delaying the paving project. Could you be more specific about re repercussions as to how much money they want to charge us per day if we delay the project? Yes, sir. So we had a call with Caltrans <laughs> and the delay cost is over $2,000 a day. Currently, um, you know, Caltrans is looking at a 25 day delay, which would amount to more than a $50,000 charge. So we don't want to be have any part of that. We want to get our utility lids out of the way as quickly as possible. And when does this paving work start? Well, the utility lids will be lowered starting on um, the 28th of October and then it should be completed by October 31st to allow for the paving. Okay. Bob, any questions? Uh, you know, I think what I heard is that we already tried to make sure our valve boxes are out of the way yes. <laughs> as much as possible. So that's good. So I was gonna see if there's any lessons learned here that we need to do going forward um, to make sure that we, you know, encroach as little as possible. Um, I guess the only other question I had, is there any kind of riser or flange that we should be replacing these with just in case down the line there's another repaving project um, requiring the same lowering and, and raising? The intent right now is to reuse the existing valve boxes. Okay. So, right, so. And it's a standard detail that the district has. It's detail SD-2 for these utility lid covers. It's a concrete um, cylinder with a steel rim yeah. and then a steel lid, yeah. usually denoted with water on top. Yeah. Has a couple set screws to keep it from rattling. So are they just going to take the metal off or are they going to take the whole thing out? So what they'll do is they'll lower the lids. They'll put some cold patch down. They'll mill the plane of the road. They'll go back and pave the road. Then they will raise the iron back up flush with the new pavement elevation and pour a concrete ring around it per the district standard detail. So I'm, I'm still a little fuzzy on how, how are they lowering it again? Are they getting rid of the, the entire box or are they just cutting it away? Yeah, the, the physical box will be removed, removed. Okay. but there's a riser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Because uh, the, the valve is actually down underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they'll cut the riser off and put the box back on. Yeah. Well, you know, it is what it is. I noticed that 50% of uh, the cost, or a third of the cost was just traffic control. Yeah. So I guess this can't be done in conjunction with anything else because it sounds like we're at the end of their process. So, um I think That's the issue is that this can't be done while they're grinding because they'll grind right over it. Yeah, no, I get yeah. they can't do it when they're grinding, but they've been out there doing a lot of other things at night um, on the side of the road and having traffic control. So we obviously weren't able to piggyback on, on that, unfortunately. Okay, great. Thanks, Garrett, uh, for jumping on this and making sure that we don't get any late fees. That is a critical thing. So good work. <laughs> Lena, any comments? Yeah, I, I just, I'm having a hard time understanding why there's two bids in here for two different prices. So at the advice of legal, they asked us to ask for just the cost of lowering the valves. Then they would pave, and then we would come back at a later date with a different contractor to raise the iron, which would lend to oh. possible... Uh, uh, you know, if we, if the new contractor didn't realize that this one, you know, there was a valve stem here, or it would just make it more complicated. It's okay. easier to, to lower and raise with the same contractor in the same time frame. Yeah, no, that makes, that makes sense. I was just having. If, if I can clarify the actual, the reason that there's two proposals included in the, with the um, proposed contract is because there's two phases to the project. The first phase is lowering the lids, which is where the subject concern for delay damages related to the Caltrans project is. 
the lowering has to happen right now. And if we don't do that, then we may be subject to delay damages for the project. The raising of the lids can happen anytime after the Caltans project is done. That's our portion. And so we needed to include the phase one lowering as a separate scope of work so that we could include in our contract liquidated damages that the contractor has to cover if they don't get the project done in time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thanks for being Director Largue, do you have any questions or comments? I do not have any questions or comments. Okay. Are there any public comments? Yes. Oh, yeah, we oh, forgot to ask we, Mark, too. We need to ask Mark. I don't see any hands up. We have to ask Mark if he has Mark. any comments. Mark? Yes. Um, since my address hasn't been included, in the um, agenda packet, I'm a member of the public. I still have a few questions, and I've been told that I can't vote on this. Um, the quote from Granite says it's valid for 30 days, which expired October 12th. Are they still willing to honor this, Garrett? Yes. Okay, good. That's what I expected. Um, they, they put in a line item for additional traffic control shift, if necessary, at $10,000. Um, is there anything that the district would do to require that? Or is that, um, if Granite didn't get the work done, maybe they'll need another day and they'll charge us for My understanding is if there's additional work beyond the valves indicated in the proposal, right. and they have to mobilize for another night, then that would trigger another mobilization fee. Okay. Um, do we have a unit price for them for replacing valve boxes? The district- the that these are- uh, these are broken. They're uh... so the district has agreed to provide additional G five boxes if necessary. Okay, so we provide the box. Whether they put in a new one or the old one, it's the same cost. Correct. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Okay. That's all the questions I have. Okay. Is there any further questions on this from the board or the public? Would somebody like to make a motion? Bob, can you yeah, make a motion on this? Let me get to the uh, let me get to the page. But yes, I can certainly do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I move that the board of directors award the contract to Granite Construction Company for the adjustment of existing water valve boxes within Highway Nine in accordance with Caltrans Project. 05-1P7304 in an amount not to exceed $189,430 and authorize the engineering manager to execute the contract. Okay. I will second that motion. Seeing again, no comments from the public and <coughs> further comments from the board. Would the secretary please call the roll? President Hill? Yes. Vice President, oh, excuse me, he can't. Okay. Um, Director Fultz? Yes. And Director Largay? Yes. And Director Lane? Yes. All right. You know, uh, it passes. Motion passes. Okay. Consent agenda, none. District reports, none tonight. Written communications, none. Informational material, none. Seeing no further business to be conducted tonight, uh, this meeting is adjourned. It's a special meeting. Thank you. Thank you, CTV.